had lunch with Tony Stewart a couple of weeks ago and we were talking a little bit about the NHRA connection and drag race team. And I said man I got to tell you the people that think you're a little crazy and he said well you know being a co-owner of a NASCAR team owning a racing series owning a made for TV series owning a racetrack owning a ranch he said, you know sometimes I just get bored I don't have enough to do so I thought why don't I go get a couple of nitro cars and put them on the plate got the folks at Rush Truck Centers Dodge SRT and Mopar longtime backers of Leah and the race Rudine Foundation raising awareness if you know somebody that's struggling with fentanyl get in touch with that foundation They'll get you some information get to what they can to get you pointed in the right direction unplug the dashboard and walk away on this side they do exactly the same thing on the other side signal to Antron and the signal to Leah Seventy three four for Leah picks up two thousandths of a second, but it's not going to be enough to move her. Antron goes three point seven four four at three hundred nineteen miles an hour. Good run, but not enough to make a move. I think this is the kind of race we're going to see tomorrow. Side by side, low 70s, side by side, high three twenties and occasional three thirty. But I can tell you right now, Josh Hart, Antron Brown, you guys might as well get prepped for a date because you're going to meet tomorrow in round number one. 